Hi one, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss very simple topic where I would be uploading files into SharePoint folder and would like to move those files to a network drive. So in my uh, previous videos, I have uh, actually read the files from a network drive and processed that into SharePoint. But a few of my users wanted to have me uh, the other way, like they wanted to have uh, files to be stored in SharePoint and then move those files from SharePoint to network drive or a shared drive. So that's why I'm creating this video. So probably a helpful for, for you. So I'm on my this Power Automate screen. I will be creating one instant cloud flow. And I'll be choosing the trigger as when file is created. In SharePoint, so I'll choose this one. And I'll just connect that to my test site and we'll use one document library so i have one document library in my this sharepoint that is repository and now in next step as i want like whenever this file is uploaded into my this uh, sharepoint repository i would like to move that file to file system or a network drive so i need to just select the file connector i would be choosing the file system connector and under this, I would be creating this create file and using this action. And when I use this action, you uh, would get a pop-up to create one connection over here. So in this connection, you can provide the connection name. So let's say share drive connection and root folder. You have to specify the root folder like this, like your server name or this thing and then folder. So probably one share folder. So this is how you have to provide the root folder and authentication. You have to choose the windows authentication and over here you have to uh, pass in the domain and username. So like this. So this is my domain and this is my username and the password you can add enter your password. So I would recommend you to use the service account for this so that it can keep running without any interruption if your password gets changed. And under this gateway, you have to uh, set one gateway. So new on-premise gateway. So for setting up, for installing up uh, this gateway, uh, you can go through this uh, Microsoft document where it has uh, actually given all the minimum uh, requirements, which is should be there. So because it has to be installed on your any of your machine and uh, that should be server ideal case because that should be running all the time. So you can go through it with uh, this document. I will share in the description yeah. and where like it describes about the minimum minimum requirement of having your gateway installed and recommendation for your servers configuration and as well as like after once you install how you can configure it. You have to pass on your uh, service account. I mean like Office 365 account name to sign in. And so once uh, this registration is done, then you can just like give a name to your on-premise gateway so that you can pick that on-premise gateway while working with flows or power uh, power apps like any anything so once you install this on-premise gateway it will start appearing over here in your drop down list and when you click create so this connection would create so because i have already set up this connection so i'll just use this existing connect connection from my connectors so these are my existing connectors. So I chose this get K drive connector and under this you can see like I have two parameters that is file name and file content. So I'll be choosing the file name encoded one which I got from the previous tab and the file content, the file content of this file which is uh, the trigger which is reading. So these are the fairly two simple steps for fetching out the file which is uploaded to the SharePoint and create that onto the share drive. So I'm just saving it and we'll just run this flow by uploading the file into the repository and we'll look at it like whether our network drive is able to have that uh, document or not. So I will just go to back to my repository to upload that file and uh, once that file uploaded, uh, we would be looking at into the shared drive whether that file got created or not. So I'll just go to my this folder. So this is the file which I am going to upload so this file is uploaded and I'll be checking that to my flow that whether it's running or not. 
okay so it uh, ran successfully and it must have saved the file to the shared drive so we can just verify okay so this was my shared drive and i got to see that file created for me so that means like we are able to move our files to sharepoint and then create uh, move those files to a shared drive after that so this is how we can achieve this so probably a quick one and a very simple video so if you like it it's helpful for you please do subscribe and drop your comments thank you